Hello everyone, hello Jackson owners, today I will be presenting you Jackson custom build functions. You have might seen that already and was wondering how to use it or you didn't know about these features at all. You can find them in settings, then going to Jackson assistant. You'll notice this section with these functions here. Please read this information, it's really valuable on how to use these functions. Below there are functions you can enable or disable, as uh, simple as that. And I'll be showing you what these layouts are in a moment. Uh, so let's go with the first one, it's a 404 page layout. Uh, if you're not familiar what that is, it's a non-existing page on your website. For example, if someone uh, mistypes a page and goes to the page on your website that simply does not exist. So let me show you an example. So if someone visits a non-existing page on your website, he will see something like this, a blank page with a message no results found. But enabling this feature will get your page a whole new layout that looks really great. And also you can change this design, you can change the text, images and everything. You can do that by going to DV library and then clicking uh, the layout you need then using TV Builder you can change elements the way you want now if you're still not sure why would you enable this well imagine if someone simply mistypes the page he wants to visit on your website or if you used to have a page then deleted it meanwhile but someone visited it from browser's history next option we have here is category page layout so if you go to a blog post and click on a category you will see this default DV page but enabling this feature will slightly improve the look of it it adds this header with category name and also improves how posts look like Next thing you can enable is author page layout, enabling that will get your website a nice looking author page that looks like this. It adds again this header with author name, author photo information and his posts below. Also you can enable tag page layout, so for example if, if you uh, assigned your post tags and someone clicks the tag to filter all the posts with that tag, again it adds this recognizable design to it. And also you can enable search results page layout, that brings your uh, search page the same kind of layout and there you go. Also uh, you can improve how your single blog posts look like. You can exclude the sidebar from it by enabling full width layout option. Let me show you that quickly. And also again it adds this uh, nice looking header and improves the overall uh, look of this page. Also you can enable a right sidebar layout but keep in mind that enabling these two options works only if you're not using DV Builder on blog posts. Also, uh, there is a page transition effect you can add to your page here. You can choose from various effects. Now let me show you an example what that is. Now you can see that I have added fade in effect and every time you load the page, this effect uh, will preload the page. And that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching.